Hi, I'm Alex Ratcliffe. Hi, I'm Rena. And today we are finally starting our finally. Finally, finally it's been a while. We've, we've been, been, been planning on doing this. We're finally starting our playthrough of Cthulhu Death May Die. Now, this video is going to be on the main channel. The rest of the playthroughs of the of the campaign as we go through it will be Patreon exclusive. I don't know how often they're coming out, to be very fair, just to transparency, but we will be trying to come out with them at least once a month, hopefully more often if we can uh, make it happen. And additionally, to keep you busy in the meantime, there are other Patreon exclusive videos on the channel, including the whole series that goes out every single Monday, where I tell you why you shouldn't back every single Kickstarter that went up with reason for each one. But that said, we're going to jump into this one with a brief rules overview and then covering it as we go through. So, Cthulhu Death May Die is basically a game where you're trying to accomplish a scenario, a mission, and in this case we're doing Blasphemous Alchemy, we're starting at the top, number one, and going through it as we go. Uh, the mission is going to have different objectives every single time, in our case we're trying to destroy four out of the five labs, that is going to weaken the Great Elder One, we're playing against Yogg-Sothoth, Yog -Sothoth. I don't know how to pronounce any of these names for transparency's <laughs> sake, but once we weaken the Great Elder One, make him vulnerable uh, by destroying the four labs, then we'll uh, be able to actually attack him and take him out, and hopefully we do that before he takes takes us out. Uh, if he enter, if any of the investigators die before he enters the board, we lose the game. Or alternatively, once he enters the board, we can now have investigators die, but if he takes all of us out, we'll well, then lose the game. Or if we go insane. We can also go insane we in this game. Yep, going insane true. is fun, by the way. Past that, the general turn structure is going to follow, uh, every character is going to take three actions, then draw a Mythos card, Mythos cards are bad things, then you're going to investigate or fight, either fighting enemies in your space or investigating and getting good things if you are in a safe space, and finally resolve any end of turn effects. Now, I have not told you this part, yeah. but we're doing a campaign, which means made up rules for funsies. The made what? up rules in this case, exactly. What? Made up rules for funsies. So, the made up rules are going to be as follows. Anytime we lose a mission, we're not going to repeat the mission. We're just going to go to the next one. Okay. But those four characters are gone. No. Yes. No! Yes. No. Yes. That's not fair. That's fun. So, those four characters will die. If a character dies or goes insane, we, we, we still, still use them what in the general sense. What if they didn't sense. die? If we didn't die. Why do we lose the mission? If we lose the mission. No, if we lose the mission. Period. If we lose the mission, those characters are gone. Cthulhu took over the world. He destroyed the present older one. Those characters are gone, which means we have 40 characters. We can lose 10 times. Along the way, you'll lose some of your favorite characters. Superman Hi, Sister Superman came Beth. back from the death? From dead? Um, if you want to talk to Warner Bros. and get their budget, we can bring <laughs> back Sister Beth. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and start this off. So, you know, you are starting, do you have a particular... Anyone want to start? Do you have any... Um, okay, first off... I'm I gonna, have Marksman. I'm going to flip over my... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Do that. Medical thing in my bobbies. And put those down. Who do cool. I want to start with? I do. Well, I have marksmen. I don't have marksmen, so you. So start. I'm going to go ahead and start us off. Uh, marksmen means you can attack adjacent zones. This first, uh, this first game, we're going to do a lot more explaining things uh, as we go through the campaign and the Patreon series. We'll assume that you know more about Cthulhu Death May Die or have watched others in the series. We we'll, won't explain every single thing. But uh, marksman Al has marksman over here as his ability, which means he can attack adjacent zones. We're all starting off over here. We can attack the cultists. I'm going to go ahead and roll three black dice. And that is a solid that is a starting solid, roll. solid, solid hit. We got a dead cultist. Boom. Very I'm actually nice. going to give you the cultist. You're going right. to handle cultists. Awesome. Yep. Okay. And then that's going to be action one. We have okay. two actions left. Al's going to go ahead again and roll again. Now, that is less of a solid roll. Mastery? We do not have arcane mastery. You don't. I do. I'm going to take stress to re-roll this. Okay. That's going to be that one. Okay. And I'm going to take another stress to re-roll this. And boom, perfect. Al's going to go ahead and take two sanity loss. Whenever you roll a tentacle, you take a sanity loss. We have two exclamations. Exclamations are hits. And so now this cultist is dead as well. Thank you. Al has one action left. And this is the part I didn't think through how I want to handle things because Al ideally would like to not end up with a whole bunch of cultists in his space right now. So he can either try to rush through and get things done or he could just rest and heal. He's going to go ahead and rest and get rest his... rest and then yeah. you can investigate because you're going to save space. Exactly. That's my plan. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and rest. Uh, whenever you rest, you can heal three stress and or wounds in any combination thereof. Okay. We're going to go ahead and move to the draw mythos card action. We have except for, yeah, draw mythos card. So we're going to go ahead and draw a mythos card. And that's going to be Wilbur Whiteley. Move Wilbur two spaces towards you. Except Wilbur's not on the board yet. Wilbur, where's Summon, Wilbur? I don't like Wilbur. Yeah, I know. That's why we hurt. That's why we have him. Summon Wilbur Whiteley in blue. That's going to be Wilbur. Whenever Wilbur dies, he summons a portal, which is not fun for us. Mm. That's going to be one of our little uh, elder signs. Not elder signs, whatever they're um, called. Um, I forgot to do this at the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. I am calling Olivia. Olivia is your... Um, codependent. Codependent? Yes. Awesome. It's good to have codependent relationships. Yes. Great. That's going to be my turn. I'm going to finally investigate. Investigate over here. We're going to investigate. And I got the Fury Student. He can't hurt me. You may take one wound to claim either the Fury Student or the Pistol. So the Fury Student is going to be you cannot have both Chester and the Professor's Companions discard one. 
I don't Boy. see how that really helps me because me three health. Or when attacking, gain a thing. If that you have one. the marksman, uh, yes. One. yes, 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 yes. We're gonna go ahead and take a wound, and we're gonna put this over here. We'll figure out how to go. But in the meantime, it's gonna be uh, what's her name's turn. My turn. So no, Olivia, going oh, clockwise. We're going clockwise. Okay. Always clockwise. So Olivia's gonna go ahead and take her turn, and Olivia is going to go ahead and take some actions. Her actions: she has unlucky, stealth, and swiftness. Ooh, <laughs> stealth. <laughs> I wasn't saying swiftness. No, stealth, stealth, stealth. Well, stealth and swiftness. Okay. So Olivia's going to go one, two, following those door paths, three, four. She can escape past this person because she has stealth. If you don't have stealth, otherwise all monsters and enemies will follow you. We're trying to blow things up, aren't we? We are trying to blow things up. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and attack the cultist in my zone. Go for That's going to be my second action. Boom. You get one sanity loss and one dead cultist. And then nice. finally, I'm going to go ahead and go for hitting on the lab. And we go ahead and get two mm -hmm. sanity loss. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to keep that. I'm cool with yeah. that. I'm cool with the sanity loss. I'm cool with the no wounds in the lab. That's going to be her turn. That was three actions. Again, draw a Mythos card. We're going to go ahead and get Wilbur Whiteley. Again, jeez. No. Move Wilbur and each cultist one space towards you. That's going to be there, Lovely. there, and there. Okay. Uh, destroy Wilbur. Each investigator in a space loses one sanity. So Wilbur's going to just die. And then we're going to go ahead and generate Why a portal. Because it says destroy Wilbur on oh, the card. That's a good reason. So we're going to go ahead and destroy Wilbur. I'm going to take one of these portals, though, because whenever Wilbur dies, we put a, a gate in his space. So now we have another gate there for yellow. And each investigator in his space. And then we summon Wilbur Waitley on yellow. So he gets resummoned. He gets destroyed just to create a gate and then resummoned on yellow. Why is he there and not there? Because uh, you always go to the normal gate by default, right. and then whenever you would dr draw someone on a normal gate, you're going to draw on one of the duplicate gates as well, but oh. Wilbur only has one copy, so we only draw one of him. Okay. And that was my turn, then I'm going to save space, so I'm going to go mm -hmm. ahead and... Investigate. Oh, I forgot one thing, which we'll do in shortly. If you could pass me a fire token. Yeah, I was going to say, there was something with fire that you I should I passed have done. through fire. Yes, I missed that spot over there, which means we're going to roll for fire shortly. Yes. And we have this card, Monkey Paw. If you have the Monkey Paw, and as a companion, take two wounds and discard the monkey, you may claim the Monkey Paw. I'm going to claim the monkey paw. Each elder sign may count as both a success and a uh, insanity. That Ooh. seems fun for me. Okay. And then at the end of my turn, I'm going to roll for fire. Whenever you exit a space with fire, you're going to go ahead and uh, roll for that fire. So right. you're going to add the fire to your board. And I'm going to roll for one wound. And we are going to get one sanity loss and one wound. Ooh. Ooh so that means I'm leveling up. Leveling up is fun in this game. So I'm going to take a, uh, a wound as follows. I'm going to take a sanity loss, which is going to trigger some things. Paranoia. All monsters on the board move one space towards you. Yeah. Monsters are going to be Wilbur. Oh, Wilbur's actually able to move towards me. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, this happened at the end of my turn, so that's okay. So, Paranoia, we can move one space towards me. Oh, boy. Then, if there are no enemies in your space, heal all stress. But there are enemies in my space. Say? Now, actually, there's a setup mistake here. One second. What did you We're want? supposed to have one of these Biyaki over here oh. and one of these over here, which means these people are also moving one space towards us, towards me. Okay. Just Excellent. No, I, I think we could have, but we would have gotten comments down below saying, hey, you forgot those things. Fair enough. And we would have to say, hey, commenter 432, you're right, we did forget those things. Fair enough. Fair and then we have to have killed all four of our characters as a sacrificial lamb to make mistakes. No. Exactly. No. Cool. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose a skill to level up. What are you going to do? That's a good question. I haven't thought that far ahead. Stealth. When you make a roll that results in no... Oh, oh, one second. Unlucky. When you make a roll that results in no successes, you may gain one success for each die rolled, which means I did three damage to that lab. Want to pass me three wounds? How many, how many damage do They require have? four wounds. Cool. Okay? It's very close. So that was helpful. Basically, uh, Olivia, when she rolls no successes, she's just as fine with it. Great. Speaking of which, I think I'm going to go ahead and bump up that unlucky, because I, like, uh, I do like her ability to do stuff like that. Cool. Great. Okie dokes. So, that is my situation, which means it's it now, is Sister now Sister Beth. Sister Beth. Okay, Sister Beth is going to go one, two, and come deal with this, okay. with this person. Okay. She is going to attack the cultist, and I have one green die for my rolling. Not a lot of room to roll dice here. I'm just going to roll it very carefully over there. All right, the cultist is dead. Okay. That's a dead cultist, and I go down to sanity. Hmm. That was already one action to move, one action to attack. I'm going to move in here so that next I can attack the lab, and I will take... A fire token with me. Sure. And that's all I can do for that turn. Because I moved, yep. I attacked, and then I moved again. Yep. Okay, so now what do I do? Okay, that's so that's death. it. Now you go ahead and draw a Mythos card. Yes, I do. Because... So I'm going to draw a Mythos card for you over here. And we have Conflagration. Add one fire token to your space and to each adjacent space. Fine. Correct. One here, and one here, and... Yep, one there. One there. So much fire. Yep. Okay. Okay. And, and investigate, because I'm going to say space. Yep. I can't reach. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. 
Uh, Amulet of Nagal. You may take three wounds? Uh, you may take three wounds to claim the Amulet of Nagal. Yep. Oh, but the Amulet of Nagal is so good. If you good. Want to take wounds from fire, you may instead deal that... Oh, fine. Yeah. The Amulet of Nagal is an excellent, excellent card. Oh, one second. I have... Each time you take wounds, you must put the same number of wound tokens on this card. Okay. Cool. Okay. Then... I roll for fire. Uh, are you... No, 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 wait a second. We go with done. Did you investigate or fight? I investigated. Okay, you did investigate. Yes, perfect. Okay. So now, I roll for fire. now you go ahead and roll for fire. Fire is one die, plus two black die. Yep. Oh, I don't know. You can extinguish fire. One or two. Uh, one one die. One black die. Okay, so you take a wound and a sanity nope, loss. I have one free reroll, one attack okay. for rolling fire. Go ahead. Fire. And nothing. Boom. Great. But then we're going to go ahead and advance the elder one because we have three of these symbols. So go ahead and push the elder one. Just give him a little nudge. <laughs> exactly. And we're going to go ahead and do a bunch of things. So to begin with. Uh, when the other one advances, place one fire token in each space that has any cultists and no fire. Okay. So that's going to be... There's one, two, nope, there's two, two spaces. spaces. Yep. Cool. Okay. Then we're going to go ahead and do the Elder One's advancement card over here, which is going to be when the Elder One when Yogg Seth advances, place a random Yogg Gate token in your space. That's going to be a blue one. Move Wilbur Whitley two spaces towards you. If he's not on the board, summon him. So we're going to move Wilbur Whitley two spaces towards you, which is going to be one, one two, or one, one two. two. Um, which one do you prefer? I think one, two is probably better. One, two. Fine. Okay. And Wilbur Whitley is now adjacent to you, which is okay. uh, less okay. fun, but could be fun. Um, and then, unless the truth is, if you're going, no, let's stick with the way it is. Okay. okay. Great, and then that's going to be uh, the sequence of events for her. Okay. It's time for Maxim's turn. Indeed. Okay, Maxim is all the way back there. Where does he want to go? He can go. He's just going to, what do I have here? Arcane Mystery, Brawling. All right, we're just going to start walking. Okay. Yeah, sounds like a good One, thing. two. Okay. Three. You're going to take a fire, put it on your board. Yeah, that's Oh, you can, we can take these off, by the way. Um, uh, How much health does this Byaki thing that Bob have? Three. I went one, two, one. All right, we'll just do it. Why not? It's fun time. You could keep moving if you want. So you're in the lap space, so we'll drag him with you. You know what? Let's do this. Why not? I don't okay. No, I didn't. No. I can't move again. No, I'm saying this. You, you moved. How far do you move? You moved yeah. one, two, three? Yeah. No, oh, no, one, yeah, two, three. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't know it was just three. Yeah, okay. it was one, two, one, two. So we're just He moves three. Do All characters move three. They do? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, what's that they do? So you could, if you you're gonna go one, two, three, and if you want to move further, you can go ahead and go I to the. I think I counted her running wrong, but that's okay. Right, so I went one, two, three, and yep. then one. Okay, fine. So two. We'll go here. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Now we shall attack the Biaki. Okay. So we have two, three black dice, one you green dice. Mastery and brawling. Yep. Thank you. Okay. And you did one, two, three, three four, four wounds. Biaki five, has three health. Five, five, wounds. five wounds. Biaki has three health. Biaki's dead. Yes. Okay. Sadly, that other does not go here. And I didn't lose any sanity. Yep. Okay. And that was that. Well, that hey. was End of really anticlimactic. Draw a Mythos card. Oh, I forgot, by the way, these are supposed to be shuffled back into the Mythos deck, so we're going to go ahead and shuffle this up over here. Right. Okay. We're going to go ahead, and we're going to draw a Mythos card. The Mythos card is going to be the Dunwich Horror. Move all Yaw Gate tokens one space towards you. Cool. Apparently, that's the thing. If Yogg-Soth is on the board, lose one sanity for each gate within one space. Where's Yogg-Soth? Yogg-Soth's over there. He's not on the board. He's not on the board, correct. Fine. We're okay. safe. Can you pass me an investigate? You go ahead and investigate card. Yeah. Okay. Beaker, you may discard this card to deal wounds to all labs and figures either in your space or in adjacent space. Each target takes wounds equal to the number of fire tokens in their space. Well, that's useful. That's me very useful for, like, up there situation. Yeah, you have to take one stress to claim it. I can do that. Okay. And then that is going to be end of turn effects. You roll one die for the fire you gained. And nothing. Nothing. Okay, take the fire off, put it back, and Oop. it's going to go full circle back to myself. Indeed. Al. Al is kind of left behind over here. Al should move. But one, two, three, four is start, possible. Start chilling with Wilbur. Mm, I know, but I want to get up there because we need to get up there ultimately. So we need to go there. The problem is Al Al has two... That, that person over there is... Mm. Why don't you do one, two, three, and then shoot upstairs? I or could. Oh, yeah. You can it's shoot not, him right there. It's not the craziest thing, honestly. He's right next to the stairs. I know. You have blind sight and everything. I know. 
I'm going to go one, two, three, putting a fire at my player board. He could move four if he wanted to. In this case, he's going to choose not to because he wants to shoot upstairs at fire dude. Mm -hmm. So he's going to go ahead and shoot upstairs at fire dude. He's going to get, uh, he's attacking a target one space away. He gets two green dice because of his uh, furious student, the pistol that he gained. And then plus his three black dice means he's rolling as follows, hoping to do four damage to that guy. And one, two, three. Ooh, we are definitely going for some re rolls here. You need to take some stress <clears throat> there. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a stress to re roll this guy over here. And boom, that's four hits. Fire dude is dead. Good. And I'm going to go ahead and take one sanity loss. Mm -hmm. um, and that is totally fine. That's everything we're doing there. Excellent. So that was uh, one movement and one what's it called with one fire on his board. He could try to be smart and attack the gate in his space. I feel that's the right move. I feel that's the right move. I thought you wanted to go upstairs. I do, but the gate is going to... If we want to stay in control, I'm going to attack the gate in my space. Have okay? Fun. I think I'm going to go ahead and be smart about this. Okay. Although I think the blues are more common. I'm going to attack the blue in his space. And there's a reason I'm doing that. So I'm shooting adjacently. Okay. I'm attacking the gate in that space. That takes three wounds to destroy. And that's going to be... Well, that's going to be enough wounds to destroy. No, which one so, are you attacking? I'm attacking this one over here. Go you can't it. defeat the basic gates. Only uh, Yogg's gates. Doesn't something happen when you run out of those? Um, I don't recall. There's probably something. Okay. But either way, when you destroy their gates, what you're going to do is you're going to, I believe, deal wounds. Uh, when destroyed, deal two wounds to one enemy of the space, which means Wilbur Whitley just took two wounds. I'm going to put two wounds on Wilbur Whitley's oh, card over here. I have to put two wounds on Wilbur Whitley's card. Yes, that was the, uh, the goal there. So, Wilbur Whitley's got mostly close to death. I destroyed that. I did that. And that is my turn. I'm going to go ahead and resolve to draw Mythos cards where bad people will move towards me. Move Wilbur Whitley and each cultist one space towards you. <laughs> I said that would happen. I did call it, if it makes it better. What's really sad is now you can't investigate. Uh, you, you know what, sweetie? It is sad. I'm it sorry. is indeed sad. Okay, we're going to go ahead and then destroy Wilbur Whitley. Each investigator in a space loses one sanity. I'm okay with that. That's I fine. like that. So, Wilbur Whitley is now destroyed, which mm -hmm. all those two wins I dealt to him is meaningless. Mm -hmm. Then summon Wilbur Whitley in yellow. Yeah, I'm not okay with this. You know, when I said I wanted people to come back from the dead like Superman, this isn't what I meant. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and resolve my effects over here, and then that's going to be sanity loss. So, I, get res I resolve hypochondria, take one stress for each wound you have. I have one wound, so I take one stress. If you have no wounds, heal all your stress. I, I had wounds. I mm -hmm. So, um, from there, we're going to go ahead and... What else do I need to do? That was that. Then I get to choose something to level up. I think I'm going to level up... Hmm, a free run action is very useful. I think I'm going to resolve a free run action. That could be very useful for me. Okay. Okay? Yep. And then I'm going to go ahead and... And, 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 and... That was that. We draw a Mythos card. We did that. Investigate our fight. Wilbur Whitley is going to go ahead and roll a whole bunch of dice against me. He's going to roll two, two greens, green, two, two blacks green. against me over here. And that's going to be a very long rolling die with two attacks and one sanity loss. So I'm going to take the two wounds and the sanity loss. I'm not feeling very comfortable right now. And then I'm going to go ahead and resolve end of turn effects, which means I roll once for fire. So we're going to move these off the board and roll for fire. And of course, I take a wound and a sanity loss. You know, this is close to death. Do you if like you, Sister Beth? I, Do you like Sister Beth? The good news is this is our first video. Yes. So if it really goes that poorly, we could just never post it and they'll never know we made that commitment. Okay. Which not saying. kill. I'm just saying, My if it goes that badly, we just never, this video never goes live. Okay. Cool. Go what ahead do I and need take, to do in order to make In fact, sure. now they're wondering how many videos before this went live. <laughs> it's a fair question. Okay. Okay. It is now Olivia's turn. Oh, it is Olivia's turn. That's why I said Olivia okay. does also has marksman? Olivia does not have marksman. No, no. but she can kill the cultist in her space. She can kill the cultist in her space. She's she going to kill the cultist in her space. Okay. She's going to go ahead and kill the cultist in her space. And that not is kill not killing the yes, cultist. Yes, 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 yes. Each elder sign may count as both a success and a sanity. I'll take it. Cool. We're going to go ahead and do that. Sanity loss and success. And cultist is dead. That was attack number one. Attack number two is going to be to the lab. Fair enough. I think. Ooh, yes, because other things blow up. Yeah, I know. I think it's uh, all all things in its space and adjacent space. The problem is two damage is not enough to really deal with that. He already has two damage. Oh, that comes off. He destroyed. Yeah, that, that damage. When he self-destructed himself and he respawned, he's a new person. New new flesh of blood bleeds in terror. Yeah, when Superman came back, he was messed up. But when Robo Whitley comes back, I mean, he started off messed up. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and attack the lab. We're going to go ahead and do that. Second action. That's going to be two, two successes, successes, which is enough to kill the lab. Lab is dead. What do we get? Tiny handwriting. Major okay. explosion. Deal two wounds to all enemies in the space and adjacent space. Ooh, it's adjacent. Yes, so two wounds back on him, yes. which is sadly not enough to do much. I can get but care that's going to be a major explosion. Whenever you resolve a lab, they're going to have effects on the back. They do vary. So that was action number two. Action number three. I could try to extinguish fire in the space. It just seems like such a waste. It does seem like such a waste. Why don't you go upstairs? 
One, two, three. One, two. Because then I have the cultists. Oh, I have sneak. One, two, three. I think I'm going to go ahead and move upstairs. Excellent oh, idea, okay. sweetie. You're welcome. Yes. One, one two, three. And then three over here. Yeah. Okay. So we now have one, two, three fire. Two fire that, that I left. So one fire and two fire. And then we go ahead to drawing a mythos card. So mythos card time. And we're going to go ahead. We have another sign. Move each cultist one space towards you. I'm sorry. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. I value you so Thank much. You. <laughs> Move these cultists one space towards you. Each investigator in a space with a gate loses one sanity. Uh, he's going to go ahead and lose a sanity. He's fine with that. She's not. She's not. He's he, not. She's not. Oh, yeah, the whole oh, two he's and two she's. Maxim okay. has not lost like any sanity at all. Then summon a cultist on red. Pass me a cultist. Uh, red. Okay. Any other red gates? Nope. That's just it? the one. Just the oh, one. Passing. Yep. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead to investigate our fight. Now that we have a cultist, I'm going to go ahead and take two green, green dice. dice against me, against Olivia. That's going to be no okay. hits, fortunately. Good but then we're going to go to end of turn where I roll two black dice. Why? Because oh, of, of thingies. Darker. Okay. And we got one sanity loss and, and two sanity loss. loss. Ooh, I like it. I like going insane in this game. Oh. I do like it. Okay, cool. That was Olivia's turn, and now it's, it's your turn. Sister Beth's turn. Okay, Sister Beth is going to roll against the lab. It's three black dice, correct? Three black dice. Three. See how they roll. That's okay, two hits and a sanity loss. Yep. Uh, when making any roll, you may count one sanity as a success, so it's three successes. Okay, nice. So the lab has three damage to it. Yep. It needs one more, right? Yes, it does. That's so annoying. Cool. Okay. Roll again. And That's one more. all it needs. All it needed. Four wounds to collect. Excellent. Safe collapse. Heal all your stress. Okay, these, these lab collapses are not <laughs> helping us. Okay. I have one action left. Yep. Oh, you know what you can do? I'm going to drag him. Yeah, because if you, if remember, when you one. take fire wounds... Yep. And he only needs one wound off. No, no, what do you, what do you, oh, you dragged him back with me. That Specifically? Way. Yeah. What, it doesn't do anything for you. No, it doesn't. Just moving forward. Yeah. Okay, so now, and I take you can two. Move, you could move a third. Do you want to move a third? Is that something else you want to move? I don't think I particularly need to. Is it helpful to go upstairs or to... Um, no, it's one enemy in my, sta in my space. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, so now, one second. What do I have to do next? What's my order? Oh, so the only problem... Oh, so here's the problem. No, I can't investigate, but that's okay. Yeah, he's going to attack you first before you deal uh, residual damage. Oh. I should probably have healed first. Yeah, it's up to you. Do you mm -hmm. want to heal instead? Yeah. Okay, so stay where you are, and then heal. I put down the wrong pile, I know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And that is Sister Beth's turn. She's going to go ahead and draw a Mythos card. Mythos card is going to not trigger the advancement of, of the Elder One. That's good. Uh, move the nearest Yage token to your space. Move the nearest Yage. That's going to be that one. And summon one cultist on the same colored normal gate, which means a cultist gets summoned here as well. That's whenever that happens. If there are no Yage tokens on the board, put a random one. It's not that the case. Okay, great. And so now it's going to be your... Now it's going to be the fight phase where you're going to roll two green dice against yourself. And that's no hits. Excellent. No hits. And now you're going to go ahead and resolve end of turn effects, which you have none. So we're going to go ahead and move to Maxim. Maxim. Maxim is going to roll against the gate. And mm -hmm. he has one success, two success. And two sanity loss. And two sanity loss. Okay, so two sanity loss and two successes. So. Yeah, so in general, the, the elder signs on each die are going to be useful if you have arcane, uh, arcane, what's it Mastery. called? Mastery. The tentacles are always good because they're just making you go insane and going insane in this game is fun. And then the exclamation marks are successes and blank faces are the vast pits of hell staring straight at you. Well then. Go ahead. Just trying to think. Okay, so this is my second action. And... Two hits. Two hits. Lab's dead. Lab Watch it be dead. like all enemies in your space. Uh, place a fire token in this space and each adjacent space. Oh, that could have been worse. Could have been better, but could have been worse. Inferno. Okay, now I have one more action left. And I'm trying to think what is best to do. Uh, you have one action left. I know, I know, I know, I know. I mean, at this point, I'm probably going to take out the, the, the gate. Which I know, means I'm more concerned about that dude. That dude? As in, who's that dude? Me? Yeah. Oh, then take, uh, ya take what's his name? Take, um... I think I'm going to go one, two, three, and move them so you can heal, because you can't heal go if you're it. not in a safe space. So I'm going to go, oops, drop the thingy, one, two, three, okay. and drag them both with me, and... That's very noble of you. I think you're very welcome. And that is that. Okay. Is there anything else I'm supposed to do? I take two fire, don't I? Okay. 
Okay, dokes. So uh, that's gonna be that. And yep. now you go ahead to the uh, draw Mythos card phase. So we're gonna draw a Mythos card. And Mythos card is going to be we're gonna be advancing Yogg Soth soon. Cool. Uh, move each cultist two spaces towards you. One, um, one, two, and one, two. Wait, that why, this one went from here to there. Yeah, yeah, that worked. Okay, perfect. Okay. That's two. And then summon a cultist on yellow, which means we get two cultists on the board. I'm just saying I tried to move all the things oh, for oh, you. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Okay, no, one, one here and one over here. Okay. So that's going to be that situation. And then we go ahead and we resolve to investigate or fight. So you're going to get a whole bunch of dice rolled against you. You want to roll for the cultists? I would like to roll for the cultists. Cultists are going to be green. Yes, yes. Okay, that's going to be one damage. One damage. Okay. And then oh. again. And another one damage. And then two green and two black from the the, the, the jerk. And one damage, one sanity loss. Okay, so when you lose one sanity, you may deal one wound to an enemy in your space. Yonk, this guy. This yep. guy. Yeah. Okay, that, that kills him. Yeah. Okay, jerk face is gone. Okay, and okay. then I lose sanity here, and I take one more wound. Yep. Okay, and now that was your turn, and now you go ahead and resolve, we resolve Elder One advancing. So, Elder One's going to advance, which means, first things first, is we're going to put fire in the spot with Al. Guess what Al needs more of? Fire in his spots. Uh, past that, you want to advance Yogg Soth, push him off on the track. Sure. Okay, and then we're going to put a random Elder Gate in your space. That's going to be over here, so we now have a red Elder Gate on the board, and now it's going to be our turn to do fun stuff. And by our turn, I mean Al is a little worried about dying over here. Does he not have sneak? sneak Al right does there? not have sneak. No, no, he does not. Although he, he does get an extra dive in the same place as a cultist. That doesn't matter, though, because he's rolling six dice either way, and he can only target one at a time. So, hmm. Al is going to shoot a bunch of cultists and hope he doesn't die. That's Al's game plan right now. So Al's going to roll three black dice and three green dice, which is awesome, only if other things There's were awesome. You don't have a if you have no wounds. to target more than one person? Nope, don't have it. I don't have brawling. Yep. Okay, one target at a time. Okay. Al's going to survive this turn. It's the next stuff that we're worried about. Right. Okay. Al's going to... You know, it's okay. It's okay. I'll explain why. Sure. Probably. Probably it's okay. Sure. First cultist is dead. Very dead. Okay. Cultist is dead, 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 dead. Nice. Okay. No, then Al's going to go ahead and advance here. Uh, fun fact, when you have multiple tentacles, you only ever advance to a break point. So even though I have two, I stop over here. Right. Uh, there, I'm going to go ahead and trigger my thingy. Take one stress for each wound you have. So stress is at max. In case I was worried. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and upgrade one of these things. Ooh, I have a free run action. Guess what I'm not doing this turn? Running. I'm not running. Why don't you up your mark? Oh! I said there's a thing! You may sneak past cultists. They never follow you. Okay, now go move. And then heal. Yes. That would work. Yes. Okay, we're going to play it safe. We're going to be smart about this. Yes. Okay, so Al now is going to, even though Al could take out the cultists, he would rather no. have some health back. Yes. So he's going to sneak past cultists. Mm -hmm. They never follow you. That yes. is helpful. Mm-hmm. So where where is it useful to sneak go to? Go upstairs. I don't know if going upstairs is necessarily helpful. There are two labs. I know, but she's going to take out one of them. It's not a problem. We don't need that one? Yeah, and besides, like, what's he going to do? I don't know. So go home. I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to go one. No, 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 no. Oh, you're saying go fast. Okay, one. Why would you move only one when they can follow you? Fine, fine. Two, three. Thank okay, you. that's going to put two fire on his board, but for his third action. Oh, not even his third action, because he's a free move. Yeah. Ooh. So we're going to go ahead and heal. That's helpful. Then we're going to go ahead and heal again and heal to stress. There you go. I feel much better now. I feel much better now. I feel much better now. Okay. Maxim wait, wait, hopefully wait. will not die. We're going to go ahead and do draw Mythos card. And we're going to draw the Mythos card. The Dumbage Horror. Move all yaw gates one space towards you. One moves here. And this moves, I guess, the fastest way to move me tweeze here. That way. Okay. If you off on the board, he's not. Moving on. We're going to go ahead and draw a card. And it's going to be Assistant Janitor. If you have a guilty conscience, I don't have a guilty conscience, have you met me? Uh, you may take two stress to claim the assistant janitor or take one stress to claim the bleach. While you have him, gain one level in stealth. You may discard this card and one card to deal wounds nice. to all figures in your space or in your space. I'm taking one stress to claim six, the bleach. Six wounds. Six yeah. Wounds. yeah, we're going to take a bucket full of bleach and do tons of wounds when we want to throw it on people. Okay. That is going to be Al's turn. Final step in Al's turn is rolling for fire. So we're going to go ahead and roll two dice. And of course, I got one sanity loss, which is fine. And I can deal wound. with that. And then one wound. Okay, not the worst. Cool. Okay. Olivia's turn. Where cool. is she? Up there. Olivia's up there. Olivia's gonna go ahead and attack the the gate because we can trigger oh, Elder lab, One to come lab, in the lab. lab. Are we leveled up enough to deal with the? No, thing? Maxim hasn't even hit his first one either. His sister Beth. The problem is if if you're worried about Maxim dying, we gotta get him on the board ASAP. 
So then get them on the board then. We'll mm. be fine. Maxim's all the way here in this little corner. We're attacking the lock. Tacking Hopefully the lock, this we won't are. show up on blue because then Maxim's going to have a Tacking the lock. And we get two hits and one advancement on this. That can be helpful. Uh, and this can be each other's line. Nope, that's not relevant. Okay, we're going to go ahead and deal two wounds to the lab. You got my map two wounds there. Yep. Uh, since she advanced, all monsters in the board move one space towards you. We have no monsters in the board. Good. Then if there are no enemies in your space, heal all your stress. She's already at max stress healed. Great. Excellent. Second action is going to be... Oh, and then choose an ability to level up. Um, I could do stealth or swiftness. I like the idea of swiftness again. That's a free run. It gives me a lot of flexibility. So I'm going to go ahead and take the swiftness. And then we're going to go ahead and do action number two, which is going to be attacking the lab. Attacking the lab. Are we, are we okay with Elder One coming into the board? Yeah, we're fine. Attacking the lab. Okay. Maybe. And we got two successes, nice. one sanity loss. Lab is dead. And it's going to say something like heal all your stress or deal yeah. two wounds. Inferno. Place a fire token in this space and all adjacent spaces. That's not great. Want to oh, pass me fire yeah. tokens? Um, okay. I'm running a so, little Yeah, there. we got one here, one here, one there, and one there. That's okay. all we have. Lots of fire. Okay. That was action two. I think for action three, she... Oh, wait, but not action three. Elder one summons. Want to pass me the elder one card? This one? This top yep. one? Pass me the whole stack so I can read through it. Okay. Basically, uh, don't when... Don't tell Bumble. Just don't do it on Okay, blue. let's see. Disruptive Shrew will destroy four of the five labs by dealing four more total wounds to them with the destroy equipment action. So, the elder one is now going to enter the board. Um. So, this, this card is going to still be in play. We're going to leave that in play for a general reminder. And we now have this guy over here dealing 12 damage. And summon Yog Soth in your space. Okay, good. Okay. That's going to be over here. Okay. Not like we have to worry about that. Uh, summon one cultist at each normal gate. Want to pass me the stack of cultists? Because we're going to be summoning four cultists, basically. Okay, because one cultist is going to go over here, and then we're going to get a duplicate. Where's your... Where's the Where's the red gate? Where's the extra red gate? There. One cultist is going to go here. One cultist is going to go here. One cultist is going to go over here, right and there? thus no. over here. Cool. So all normal gates plus the two extra gates. That's Not like it's a big deal. Uh, then, if you need to place a yaw gate on the board but cannot move each yaw gate one space towards you, when a yaw gate is destroyed, each investigated space loses two sanity. That's exciting. It's leveling up. Cool. Kill the yaw gates in your space. Okay, this board is looking um. Cultacy. 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 Now, I could go ahead. I still have another action, and I have a free run with stealth. So I could run away from Yog Soth over there. So I think what I'm going to do, sweetie, is I think I'm going to go ahead and try to extinguish fire in her space okay. to okay. avoid wounds and situations, and then I'm just going to run. No, oh wait, there's no way. You can't run. There's no way I can run to. I can't run. Oh, you have stealth. I have. I fire. Have, do I just attack Yog Soth and move one space away? I don't know what to tell you. I think that's the right move. No, I'm attacking the fire. I need to get the fire off the board. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the fire. That's going to be excellent. I'm going to turn this to a blank face, which okay. means I have no successes, which you means I have it? three successes. Oh, yeah, you may change one of your dice to a blank face, except when rolling against yourself. So the fire is extinguished from the board. We put out the fire. Extinguished fire is going to be a scenario-specific action, as listed on the card up there. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'm going to go ahead, and then I have one action to move away. Oh, and I got one sanity loss. I should do that. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a stealth move action so that I'm not in the big annoying guy space. Cool. Cool means. Actually, I think I'm going to head this way, because that way I can uh, extinguish fire next time over there, too. Cool. Okay. Cool. That was her turn. She's going to go ahead and draw a Mythos card. Investigate. Monsters in the labs. Each fire and vampire and Biaki move one space towards you. There e are none. Did you say each fire? Each fire, vampire, and Biaki. Oh. Now, fire vampires are going to be summoned on yellow. And again, no. duplicate on yellow. And Biaki on blue. Fortunately, we don't have our other blue gates on the board. Mm-hmm. We like this game, remember? Mm-hmm. Again, if we lose, we just won't post the video. It's all good. <laughs> They'll never know. Okay. Go ahead. And it is now... Okay. Sister Beth's turn. See, at this point, everyone watching the video is like, okay, well, we assume that they won because we're watching this video. <laughs> maybe I did and maybe I didn't. You'll never know. Okay, or you ready? will know. Yeah, okay. at some point they will know. Okay. Sister Beth. Oh, boy. Will attack the cultist or... Wait, wait, wait. One second. What's her What's her monkey paw? Deal that many wounds to one enemy in your space. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Okay, Sister Beth needs to level up brawling. Sister Beth needs just to level up, period. Okay. I'm just debating if it's worth it for her to just move into this space and just start helping attack anyways. Well, if you destroy a gate, you're going to lose two sanity. And you'll also be able to deal two wounds to what's it called. And bad things won't summon as fast. When making any roll, you may count one. Sanity is a success. Okay, I should just start by attacking my cultist. In your space? Yeah. Go for it. Or should I move here? Yeah, whatever you want to be. There's a lot of things that can happen here. I'll attack the cultist. Cultist is dead. Cultist is very dead. And okay. you didn't go up at all in terms of what's it called? Shh. Do you want to try re-rolling it with no, stress? No, 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 no. 
She will now move here. Okay. And she will attack the Biaki. Biaki sounds first. good. So she will now roll. I also take a fire. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wait, if you're moving. Oh, that's interesting. That's tricky. Hmm. Hmm. There's what? No way around it. Now this thing's all good. Okay, attacking the Biaki. I deal two wounds to the Biaki. And still managed to take no <laughs> sanity loss. <laughs> to take no sanity Do you loss. want to deal a stress now? I will take a stress and reroll. Take a sanity loss. Thank okay. goodness. Okay. And it counts as a success. So I do three damage to the Biaki. Biaki dead. Biaki dead. Excellent. Cool. Making progress on this uh, giant Biaki is dead. amount of people. And I am going to roll, move up to there yeah. on the brawling. I think the brawling would be very useful. I think useful. the brawling is very useful. And it's, I went, okay. if there are no tokens on this card, take one wound. Otherwise, remove all tokens from this card and heal one stress per wound taken. Okay. Cool, cool. I'll pack up one. Okay. Now, I will get attacked by all the cultists. Yes. So we start by the Mythos card. Yes. Mythos card first. Cool. Uh, Mythos card is going to be Chaos in the Labs. Move the Elder One in each monster one space towards the undestroyed lab closest to them. Okay, that's going to be one here. Uh, the monsters are going to go ahead and move one here. And this monster is going to move one here. Okay. That's the undestroyed lab. Uh, summon a cultist in each damaged lab. There are no damaged labs. Then remove one wound from each lab in the space of the cultist. There are no labs with wounds. Cool. Great. So now go ahead and do investigator fight, which means one. Yep, yeah, exactly. One wound. Okay. I can reroll that. You. Oh, you could. That's right. Go ahead. Okay. Nothing. Cultist number two. The one wound. You could reroll it. One wound still. And one more cultist. And one wound, but we roll. And no wounds. Perfect. Now you roll for fire. One black, black die. And it doesn't really matter what you get. You see, you take the sanity loss. Or I will take the sanity loss. And then just and deal will, a wound to the cultist. I will deal one wound to the cultist yep. and prop it up somewhere. Okay. Over Excellent. There. Great. That was Sister Beth. Now it's Maxim's On to Maxim. Turn. Okay. <sighs> exactly. Maxim's looking good. He's looking nice and healthy. Yeah. Okay. You can take the fire off his board, by the way. That's from last turn. All right. Oh, actually, this will help. Okay. He needs to lose sanity. Oh, that's useful. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. So he's going to attack a cultist. Okay. I that's... will start by attacking that one. Sure. Excellent. Okay. okay. That's one so dead cultist, and one... you ping Wait. a side wound with your sanity loss. Correct. Yep. And then I go up here, and then... I'm going to move this up because now I can ping all of my enemies. Okay, okay so that was my action number one. Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. Olivia has to move to him. Olivia has to move to him? Why? Because either he has to move to Olivia. Oh, well, Olivia will move to him then. Yeah, and now okay. I can take two stress. Okay, and then I will attack the cultist again. And two damage. Yep. Three damage, actually, because I have the arcane mastery. That's that. That was action two. And then for action three, he's just going to... Heal. The help up right, you, right have, you have three wounds? Yeah. All right, cool. Very good. So that's going to be your turn. And now yep. we go ahead and draw a Mythos card. Yep. Mythos card is going to have an Elder Sign thingy, Majiggy. Cool. And we have each Fire Vampire moves one space towards you, then place one Fire Token in their space. So Fire Token in its space, cool. of course. And then this one is going to go ahead and go, well, in your space, apparently, and put a Fire Token in your space. That's the correct reaction. Uh, then summon a fire vampire, which we can't because they're all on the board. So now I get attacked by the fire vampire. Yes, you Let's do. Let's just hope for a whole boatload of sanity. What's the fire vampire? Uh, two, two black, black, black and, and a green. green. Fine. Okay, green. Tentacle and elder signs. Excellent. Nothing so bad I, happens to you. And I ping one back to him. But when it attacks, we do place a fire in its space. So there's now three fire in your space. That's actually quite helpful. For what's the name, sister? No, because I can discard to deal wounds to labs and figures either in your space, including you or an adjacent space. Each target takes wounds equal to the number of fire tar tokens. It doesn't include me as well. Well, that's the thing. It, it says you may discard this card to deal wounds to all labs and figures either all... in your space or an adjacent space. Oh, so you can space. do it to adjacent space. So, oh, I can, so I can do that to the adjacent space and do take right them now. all with three damage. Um, Go for it. Do damage. it right now. Okay, so let's discard Oh, uh, with three damage, this, that fire vampire needs a fourth to be killed. You can still do it. It's up to you. Get rid of all the cultists. Is up it to worth you. it? Do you want to do it? You can go for it. Why well, did you, did you do market damage to that one also? What for? Because he got hit with the Oh, sanity. with sanity loss? Okay, yep. no, I did not. Okay. I'd point. hold on to it. I'll hold on to it. Okay. Day. And that is the end of that one. And I went down one more sanity. Okay. Cool. Okay. 
Time for my turn. Al. Al's turn. Al is healthy now. Al is healthy. He's he- Al's Al want to heal anything else because his stress is kind of mm, low. His stress is kind of... Yeah, I hear you. I hear before you. He, before he goes anywhere. Al's going to go ahead and take your advice and go one, two, three. Okay. okay. Then Al is going to go ahead and try to figure out where he can go to inflict the most damage. I think this is a nice central space where everyone's connected to him, All for right. better or for worse. Cool. So Al's going to go ahead and go one, one two... two. Heading over there. Then I can just start shooting him. Um, then Al is in the space of the cultist, which is helpful. So Al's going to go ahead and... Oh, he sneaks past yeah, cultists. Doesn't he sneak past people? Mm, I hear you. Okay. Six wounds to all figures either in your space, including you, or an adjacent space. But Al doesn't actually have stealth. Cool. So Al can mess with people. But either way, Al's going to go ahead and start off by taking out that uh, fire vampire in this space over here. Okay. Actually, fire vampire in this space, I think. It makes more sense. Sure. Okay. This one already has wounds, and there's three people in here, so it's yeah, exactly. going to die eventually. Exactly. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and deal fire, uh, wounds to the other person. We're going to be rolling six dice, it looks like. Seven dice. Seven dice. Two for my weapon, one for my stat, one from the cultist being in my space. Is seven dice. That's fine. Yes, this is an action, too, because I had a free run. Cool. And What are you trying wound? to hit again? I don't know why... Why don't you have something that hits more than one person? Well, I'd rather deal with taking him out with him rolling that many dice. Alrighty, well. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So the how problem you, is... How, this, what is your plan? The plan is to go one... Instead of going one, two, go one, two, three, four. You're going to drag everybody with you? Not everybody. Uh-huh. But I'm going to do it. Okay. Three, four. Who okay? Are you taking with you? So I have to take this guy. I don't and have a choice. So much fire. I'm going to choose to take this cultist with me. And so much fire. Because I can choose I could sneak past cultists. You may sneak past cultists. Okay. The and fire. then the fire, I'm gonna take three fire on my board. I'm gonna pass me three fire. There's only one fire. That's Put me, fun. that's giving me three wounds. I'll track the fire with the Oh, I right have now. one, I have one from Sister Beth. It's all good, it's all good with one here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attack giant elder one with again one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, a whole bunch of this. I have two actions, two attacks. So I'm gonna try to take the elder one. Have fun. Enjoy. Okay. Ooh, nice. One, one, two, two three, three, four, four, five attacks against the Elder One. I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with that. Five attacks. Although, nice. I'm rolling enough dice. Yeah, five attacks is the right way to go. Okay, five damage to the Elder One. You want to go ahead and put five oh, stats okay. on his board. And then we're going to go ahead and do it again. Same exact thing. Ooh. Ooh, intriguing. Okay. Five. Ooh, no. Where was... I had two dice left. Two dice left, right? Yeah, you had two green dice. Ah... Uh, what do you want to do? Why? What's its health? I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Where is its health? Oh, I'm going to show you. His health is not over here. But oh. here's what I think. Ah! No, I'm going to go. I'm going to continue my turn. Okay, okay. five. Okay. okay, that's going to be two wounds against it. Uh, not nearly as satisfying. So the question is do I discard my bleach to deal six wounds to these two? Might be a little bit of an overkill. Mm, overkill, you say? I say go for it. Okay. Okay, we're going to scar my bleach, and I'm going to go ahead and deal six wounds to this person, killing him, and this person, killing him. Okay. Okay, which means we look at the next level of Yog soth Cool. Okay, these cards, these come off. Okay, and the next level of Yog soth is going to be move Yog soth towards the normal blue gate. See, that's what I thought happened. No! No, that way you can just attack him in this base. What do you mean, no? Fine. Okay, this board is looking a little crazy. <laughs> That's what happens in this game. If you need someone, one cultist at each normal gate. So, uh, cultist time. Yep, one there. One here. There's no room. <laughs> there's there's room. Uh, one here. And one up there. No, you think you think so. And then one here. Oh. We're out of cultists. That's excellent. Good. Out of cultists. Uh, then, if you need to place a yaw gate, okay, that was that. Sorry, that was the wrong card. What do you I, mean that no, was the no, wrong no, card? No, that was the last card. That was yeah. the last card. Uh, my bad, my bad. Okay, we got these people up here, and then one of these, great. Okay, movie, movie jaw gate one space towards the investigator closest to them. This is going to come this way. Hey. That one's going to come into here. Wait, where is he going? He's staying over there. He is supposed to yep. stay there? Are you sure? Each investigator in a space with any gate loses two sanity. All three of these people lose two sanity. Excellent. Well, that was not helpful. So Olivia's going to lose two sanity. Let's handle them one at a time. Olivia's losing two sanity. All monsters on the board move one space towards Olivia. So this monster's going to go ahead and move... Down here. Mm-hmm. Uh, then, if there are any monsters, if there are no monsters in your space, heal all your stress. They're all monsters in my space, so I don't get that. Okay. I'm gonna choose an ability to level up. So I think I'm gonna choose. Hmm, I could do swiftness, not as helpful. I think I'm gonna go ahead and choose this level. Yeah, okay. I'm doing unlucky again. Okay, cool. So that was that, and now it is time for yeah, level up your characters if you need to. I did. I didn't get to level them up because okay. they're one away. Each vesting space of the gate loses sanity. At the end of each turn, place a random Yaw gate token in your space. Cool. 
Okay, that was me throwing that, which means we haven't even really ended my turn yet, but we're getting there. So I'm going to go ahead now and resolve draw Mythos card effects. Cool. So we're going to draw a Mythos card, which okay. is going to trigger that. Oh, don't tell me so. If Wilbur shows up on blue, I'm going to be very upset. The nearest fire vampire moves two spaces towards you, then place one fire token in its space. So that's going to go here, then place a fire token in its space. This is this is uh, getting thingy. The nearest fire vampire. So that was the nearest one. Okay. Uh, then summon fire vampire. We can't because they're all okay, on the board. Fine. Then we have to investigate or fight. So I'm going to roll two green dice against Al. Mm -hmm. And we roll one damage. one damage. I'd rather not take the damage if it's all the same to you, but no. I will take the damage. Okay. Then we're going to roll for the fire vampire, which is going to first of all put a fire in my spot because <laughs> why not? And we're going to go ahead and do this. You might want to extinguish that. And we're going to get really. one wound. So one wound over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then lastly, at the end of my turn, we're going to go ahead and resolve three fire on me, rolling for three fire. And we got two wounds. So Al's, Al's not doing great. Al's not doing great. Well, we're all stuck here. And with the big guy. With the big guy. Uh -huh. Cool. That's going to be that situation. And now we go ahead and we can do the end of turn effects, which are going to be a whole bunch of things. End of turn, I resolve that end of turn. End of turn, we're going to put a yaw gate. gate in his space, in Al's space. And then we're going to go ahead and shuffle these up, resolve all effects from the what's it called. There are no spaces with cultists and no fire, apparently. <laughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and advance the gate up there, if you don't mind. And anything else we need to resolve and the thingies? Uh, so. When the enemies are summoned, when random, put a random Yogg gate token in the space. When Yogg's mm. move Wilbur at the towards you. If he's not on the board, summon at the starting space. So Wilbur gets summoned over here. That's fine, he can stay there. He's not going to stay there. I know. And we put another random gate in your space. Cool. So cool. we're just... The good news is we don't have anyone we can actually summon, so we're totally safe in that regard. There's Biaki right there. I meant like cultists. Like there's 15 cultists. Cultists right there. At this point, it doesn't really matter. I see. Although it might matter more as this guy goes up. Uh huh. Okay. Ready? That was my turn. Olivia's turn. Olivia's turn. Olivia's gonna need to watch what her sanity levels are doing. Olivia's got nothing to worry about. Sure. Olivia's gonna go ahead and attack. I think I'm just going straight for the elder one at this point. That makes sense. And the elder one needs to be taken out. So, although there is a skate in our space, in our space, you know, let's start with the other one and go from there. Okay. okay. I'm going to go ahead and roll this. When you make a roll, there was also no successes. Okay. I'm going to roll this. Mm -hmm. And excellent. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn both of these to blank faces, as per my rule. I can now do two of them, which means four successes to Elder One. He's got that level of hits. We're going to do that again. Okay. We got three successes this time. So, this time, and two sanity loss. I like that. I'm going to spend a stress to roll this. We're not done yet. Mm. Boom. Four successes. Okay. And two sanity loss. Excellent. And then each Elder Sign may count as both a success and a sanity loss. So I'm going to count another success. Do you want to do one more, one more damage on him? Mm -hmm. And another sanity loss on me, which means all monsters on the board move one space towards me. Please, they're already by me. Okay. Yeah. And then if there are no enemies on your board, who cares? And I could do this one. I don't think it's relevant. I guess I will. Yeah, why not? Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Doing a run. No, I'm going to go ahead and do swiftness. I'm going to level up swiftness. Okay. And then we're attacking the elder one again because if I attack the elder one again. And it moves, it'll be much nicer for everybody involved. Well, then it's going to die. Yeah. So attacking the elder one again, and it's going to be boom. That's going to be three four. successes, four successes. I'm going to choose not to get the sanity loss this time around. It's dead. Elder one's dead. So that's the good news. Bad news is so we got one more phase of the elder one. Elder one always has three phases. Indeed. Bad news I is we're going to go ahead. I think though. it is a starting space. Let's see if we can remember. Move Sog Yogg-Soth to normal red gate. Oh. You just have to kill him. You don't have to survive till the round. Uh, move, destroy Wilbur Whitley. Okay. Well, Wilbur Whitley has been <laughs> very helpful. Okay. Now we have a gate over there. Uh, summon him into your space. Oh, geez. This guy just doesn't want to quit. <laughs> summon a cultist at each normal gate. There aren't... Well, there are cultists, I guess, but it's going to just be everything. So mm, one, there. two, yep. and then, you know... Three and four, and then toss one in here, because why not? We don't, no, there's one more. Okay. I think we're going to say goodbye to uh, Olivia now. Uh, someone calls this each normal gate. Oh, At the shoot. end of each turn, lose one sanity for each gate within one space. <laughs> <laughs> we all yeah. lose sanity? No, no, each person. So, so I lose sanity too. No, no, so let's go through this. Let's go through this. Right, let's leave this in sight of the general board so sure. people can see it and so we can track all the bad things happening to us. We're going to go ahead and draw a Mythos card. It's first things first. Dumbwish Horror, move all yaw gates one space towards you. Yeah, sure. sure. Sure, let's just go ahead and do that. Okay. The good thing is we have break points, so it won't really matter at this point. Okay. If yaw's off on the board, lose one sanity for each gate within one space of you. Okay, well, you're just going to go ahead and move to over here now. How many? Okay. She, only she does, right? Yep. Then, because she just triggered her sanity loss, all monsters move one space towards you. 
This is why I love this game. <laughs> okay. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and lose, and then I get to go level up. So I'm going to go ahead and take Swiftness where I get an extra action each turn in case I survive. Okay. You, there's a lot of, you You just can't get attacked. Well, we're not done yet. That was this card over here. Then we go ahead, and that was the Mythos card, Investigate or Fight. This is the fighting part. Why didn't you run? You, don't you have a free run action? Um, I do have a free run action. So it's too late now. It's hindsight now. But it would have potentially been helpful, although... It, it, too, too many things. Also, okay. fire. Okay, this person first. That's going to be nothing. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and do Wilbur Waitley with uh -huh. his four dice. Uh -huh. Okay. That's going to be three wounds to me. I'll take them all. Why not? Okay. okay. Then we're going to go ahead and... Because I can't take any sanity loss. I can't afford it. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to roll two blacks and a green. Okay, great. Um, we're going to go ahead and start mm -hmm. using our spending our thingies now. So we're going to go ahead and spend that to re-roll this. And then... Good. The, good. And then we're going to spend that to re-roll this. That to re-roll this. It's not looking good for us. And we are dead. She's gone. Okay, we have one dead but person. we haven't lost yet. We haven't lost. We have not lost. Olivia's out of the, out of the game. We just need to kill him. Al is right next to him, and Al rolls a lot of dice. Al's the Al only person who needs to survive. Is is at death's door. Death's door is not death. Okay. He just actually has to kill the cultist Either way, and then, and then he can heal. She's dead. At the end of a turn, place a yeah, random... Well, there are no end of turn facts. She's dead. Moving okay. on to Sister Beth. No, at the end at the end of each turn... Place a random Yaw gate token no, in your space. No, you lose, lose one sanity for each gate within... She's dead. Oh, so she doesn't have to do it. Yeah. I have to do it now. No, no, no. Now it's your turn. All you right. will have to do those things. Sister Beth is now going to attack some people. Sister Beth should just run and kill that person. Can you even get there? One, two, three. You can get there. I have to drag them all. So? All right. You don't need to survive to the end of the turn. You just need to... You just need to... <laughs> okay. So. One. Two. I can't read. Three. Okay. We're just going to go ahead and put everything in this space over here. Now, Sister Beth, also keep in mind, sweetie. Um, I know. If you survive to the end of the turn, which you won't, then you will deal damage to them because of all the fire you ran through. But that's if you survive to the end of the turn. That's true. Okay. So the fire you, you just ran through one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fire. Okay. We're just going to remember that number. Eight, eight fire. fire. Okay. okay. She's dead. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. I can only roll four dice because she hasn't gone insane yet. Excellent. Ready? Okay, she has one, two, three successes. Excellent. And not a single sanity loss. Of course not. So that was my second action and yep. third action. There we go. How many successes is that? It's one, two, three, four. Four, four successes. Okay, he's down. He's, he's doing fine. Like, so you can take him out. Look at this. No. I think we got this. We have it, but she's, her turns are done. Oh, she's going to die. We Thank know you. that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Um, she's gonna go up now. One okay. Second. Um, actually, she might. How much fire did I go through? You went through eight fire. Actually, you might be able to kill him at the end of the. If turn. you can survive this attack, you might be able to kill him. But that's the key word: survive these attacks. Okay. You know what? I should. I should do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's relevant. <laughs> she just increased her toughness, so she doesn't roll a die. She just reduces her wound. There we go. Okay, now what? Okay. So, now we go ahead and we draw him with this card first. Okay. okay. Watch it be something insane. Uh, move the nearest Yage token to your space. That Who really cares? There's a million of them. The nearest Yage token to your space. Sure. Um, and then summon one cultist. Yeah, that's not happening. That, we don't have any more cultists. Okay. okay. If there are no Yage tokens on the board. Oh, no, there's Yage tokens on the board. We're good there. Okay. Okay. Now you go ahead and investigate or fight. Cultists. <laughs> go ahead, go for the cultists. You Why should... should I do the cultists first? Because what does it matter? It doesn't matter. Just the easier. You're going to reduce one wound by each one. So that's one cultist. Reduce. Done. Next cultist. So I take one wound? No, you should ignore it. Oh. Next cultist. Ignore it. Next cultist. Ignore. Oh, that one. one you might have to take a wound. Take a wound. Take a wound. Okay. Okay. Uh, next cultist. Ignore it. Next cultist. And ignore it. You're done with the cultists. Cool. Now I'm on to Wilbur Whitley. <laughs> two black and two green. And that you can't ignore. You could take two wounds. Go ahead and take two wounds. You still have stress to re-roll. Okay. You're still fine. Oh, it's Yog Soth you're in trouble with. Okay, yeah. good to know. Um, then you go ahead and roll for the... Um, let's roll for Yog Soth first. Cause it's, all, it's all the dice or it's just three? It's all the dice. Oh. Three blacks and four green. All the dice. No, not all the dice. I have one left. We're we'll hoping the best roll in history right now. That wasn't the best roll in history. So you can ignore <laughs> I mean, one. Actually was really you can good. ignore one. And I have okay. a lot of stress. And you can roll. So, so to start rolling. One, 
Okay, another stress. At this point, it's over, isn't it? Okay, another stress for the next die. We still have a chance here. Still have a chance. Nope, and we're dead. Oh, well. She tried we're the dead. hardest. Okay, Sister Beth is dead. She did a valiant effort. She's dead. Um, Maxim's turn. Maxim's turn. Well, we only have five health left on the Elder One. Maxim can make it. Okay. Just so run. <laughs> one. Two. Three. Okay. Ready? Yep. Okay. So he has... Oops. She was... There. Doesn't, she's dead. Doesn't matter. Right. Okay. So he is going... Brawling. Brawling. So, again, only three... I, he didn't have enough time to level up. It's okay. Up. If he gets a single wound, then it's going to... I mean, anything he does is going to... I don't think it's going to make it for my turn. Okay. So... One wound, one, two wounds. No. One, two... Three. Three. And I can deal it to all enemies in my Wait, space. Wait, what? You have that already? Yeah, instead you may deal one wound to all enemies in your space. I don't think it matters, but go so for it, okay? They all have one wound. Well, they all remember. have one. Well, he has three wounds. Well, he has three, yeah. So, three wounds. And okay. they have all have one, okay. And, one and you level turn. up? I do level up. Um, Next level brawling. Next level brawling is when you attack, you may target any number of figures in your space. Mm. I don't want to do that. I hear you. I think I will... Arcane Mastery. Arcane Mastery it. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yep. Action number three. Oh, wait, three. I lost the sanity, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, another so you're going to die. die. That's important. Okay. Um, Olivia would jump to your space, but Olivia's dead. Olivia's dead. Okay, three hits. That is uh, the game. Um, Yogg-Soth is dead. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is what it looks like. <laughs> this is Cthulhu Death May Die. This is why we like this game, because we have... One guy who's about to be slaughtered. We have Al down to one health. We have two dead characters, and we won. Indeed. This is what Cthulhu Death May Die looks like. It's insanity. It's a cl cluttered board. It's craziness. But it's Cthulhu Death May Die. It's so much fun. So, this was uh, episode one, campaign mission one. We will we will be doing more of these, like I said. They're going to be Patreon exclusive for the most part, the $2 level. So, the basic intro level on Patreon uh, show up. They'll be there. I'm aiming for, again, at least once a month, but we're hoping to do more as much as we can. Like, we plan on getting another one of these filmed tomorrow night. It won't go up tomorrow night, but it'll be filmed as soon as we get done with this. And we're, our goal is to jump through every single campaign mission and then beg Kaman to continue to make more episodes for this game because... It's fun. Because we like it. And then you know what's going to happen? Somewhere in between now and finishing our campaign, we should get those extra investigators from that that extra thingy. Here's some extra investigators coming. It's from the Come On Comics we do? Kickstarter. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. They should be showing up sometime soon. In any case, I'm Alex Radcliffe. I'm Rena. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a little bit insane. But as always, have a good one.